Now then, I'm hoping I'm in the frame this time. I'm back at the Lancaster Canal and it is a different day. I haven't just changed my shirt, it was just so nice, I just had to get out. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about dash cams. Do I need one? What's it for? Is it any good to me? Well, I'll give you one thought to think about. Over the years of my taxi driving, um, one of the taxis went through some lights on his own and his light was on green and he had a crash, somebody crashed into him. So he got out of his car, he said, you know, bloody hell, you've gone through a red light, mate. He said, no, I haven't, mine was green, yours was red. That car had three passengers in who swore blind that the car was in the right and the taxi driver went through a red light. The taxi driver lost his claim. For that reason alone, they're worth their weight in gold. And this one, literally, it's a solid, solid metal. Is the MDC 100 uh, Motorola dash cam. Absolutely fabulous one. I'm looking around me because I don't want to be talking in front of a lot of other people. So anyway, there's nobody here, so it's nice and quiet. I haven't got around to being in front of the camera in front of other people. I'm usually sat in the van doing it, and I thought I'd just bring it out. Now, see, it's a beautiful day. I've been to Heesham this morning. Just before I get into details about this, I'll just show you where I went. And uh, if anybody knows Ozzy Osbourne, this is where he got the photograph for one of his covers. And I'll put a title underneath of the cover that it's from and the photograph at the side, you'll see. And I did my own photograph just to see if it was any good. Anyway, you look at that. So this MDC 100 Motorola dash cam, I bought it from Argos. I think I paid £100 at the time, but they are a lot less now. They could be £49, but the, the reason I wanted to tell you about this one is that I've had that over 12 months. Over a year. And it's as good today as it was when I first bought it. The lead that comes with it that you plug in is about two and a half metres, so it's a quite a long lead that plugs into your, uh, into your cigarette lighter. Somebody coming on the bike, but I'll, anyway, I'll keep waffling on. Uh, I don't think they're bothered about me. The only thing was the memory card. You have to have a new memory card because it won't accept the old one. You all right? Yeah, fine, thank you. You all right? Yeah, thank you. All right. Yeah, well, there you go. We're back in the van. and. We're back in the van because I think somebody tweeted there's some grey-haired old fella making a film on the uh, on the canal and I kid you not, it was relentless after after them people on that bike and that bloke walk but it was just, there was joggers, there was everything came at once and I gave up. I waited about 10 minutes, I thought I, in time to come I might be able to talk in front of other people just not yet, I'll get used to it. Anyway, let's get back to the MDC Motorola 100 dash cam, or any dash cam, it doesn't matter what dash cam. Um, the one thing I do know about this, when I bought it, I had an old memory card, or a micro memory card, and it wouldn't it wouldn't work. I don't know why, you've got to have a certain card, or a new card. So I, I bought a new card. I will look up what card you need, and I'll put it underneath here, a bit of title, so you'll see what card you need. It's just got to be a new one, so I had to buy a new card. Um, I don't record sound on this and I don't record sound purely because I want more footage if you record sound you get less footage so it might record for a full day with sound if you take the sound off and turn the sound off in the settings and don't have sound I get three days of footage so if nothing happens in three days it just writes over itself in sections of about three or four minutes something like that and they just keep going because it's a big memory card I've put in there's like 64 gig and if I did have a crash and there was sound on it, all you would hear is me swearing. 
or using some very very colourful language so that, I don't bother uh, the reason I recommend this is because it's the one I bought, it's the one I use and I've used a lot of them in, in the past for taxes, you can buy a cheap one, £15 from B&M's the crap, you might as well just walk out of B&M's, put it straight in the bin and then just not bother because it's a waste of time um, I, I bought this one over a year ago and it still works today like it did 12 months ago so it does what it says on the box it just works, it's just, you know, if I turn it on now if you, if you have an accident you take it off its holder, it comes with a holder that you, you mount it on your, on your window screen take it out, it turns off, if you turn your engine off this will stop so what you do, you can push the button underneath turn it on, it's coming on I don't know if you can see it, it's coming on take it out, go video the cars the people, the registration, the, the accident scene it's working, that's after 12 months of use and I don't usually use it without the battery so you buy a sat nav you know five months time you unplug it they don't work or my, mine never do all, all these I, I, tom toms I get the, the batteries you unplug it and that's it it's gone that's it's off uh, the lead that this comes with I actually tie it up because what I do obviously that plugs into your cigarette lighter with the adapter and then I leave that in the like you know your, your little dashboard thing and then just plug it straight in there's no strain on the on the, the actual wire then you know the plug so it doesn't fall out if you stretch that too far and have it very high up it could it does a tendency to come out so that's why I did that don't need all this wire but there's about three meters of wire it comes with two and a half meters of wire so it's you could actually route it round and have it out the way and you know have it how you want um, but that's the reason why I recommend this one or I think there's a new one now it's a Motorola MDC 150 but I can't say anything about it, I don't have one, that's the one I, I've got and that's the one I've used for the last 12 months and it just does everything it's, it's supposed to do and uh, some of the footage off this I've used on my laptop for, for some of these videos not a lot, just, just bits of what, what I've needed um, so do you think I need one? I, I, I definitely say yeah you, you definitely need one uh, they're worth the weight in gold, they really are uh, don't have this one, a lot of people swear by, I think it's next base uh, I've never used one so I, I can't say I have seen some footage from next base ones on YouTube with people putting like dash cam footage on of accidents and all that um, so the main thing to remember you want the time and date uh, the correct time and date because if, if it's an accident it can be used as evidence then and uh, if, you, if they're at fault and you can prove it case closed the first accident you have that's paid for itself it's absolutely paid for itself, I've turned it on now, it's paid for itself in one accident uh, it's quite simple to put your memory card in it has a little rubber rubber sleeve there, just push your memory card out glasses are falling down and put your memory card in and uh, that's it, it does record sound, it records uh, you, I think you can go, you, I record this at 720 720p and uh, it just, it does, it does alright It's, it's a, it's a perfect, uh, I've turned it off now, I'll leave it alone, it won't come on again so uh, yeah definitely get one, uh, the first accident you have it's paid for itself hasn't it uh, and that's that's dash cams for you, doesn't matter what dash cam you've got as long as you've got one don't get a cheap one, you you, you, you know you, you buy it cheap, you're buying it twice because you'll have to get a better one so just buy a better one in the first place and uh, as far as I know, Motorola, I have a Motorola phone, I, I, you know, I don't, it's not a lot of Motorola addict by any stretch of the imagination, but I've had that phone for 18 months, and the phone just does what I want it to do, I've never dropped it, I've looked after it, it's, but, you know, and a Motorola dash cam, so if you're going for Motorola, it just does the job, so I, I highly recommend them, uh, so if you're going out and about in your van, get one and uh, the first time you have a little scrape or a bump or there's a problem I swear to God you, you'll be you'll just be so happy that you had it and you'll say oh thank I've got it and they can say whatever they want you say it's alright mate I've got a dash cam but just remember if they're aggressive people don't say you've got a dash cam just say oh bloody hell we've had an accident call the police because if they are aggressive they could take it off you take it out your van so just bear that in mind as well anyway uh, a little tip for you if you fancy going to the Isle of Man 
via Heesham. Uh, you can go down the bypass from the M6. Uh, I think it's Junction 34. I think it's 34. Uh, you can, there's some laybys in that bypass. You can stop on overnight. No problem whatsoever. Wagons parked there overnight. I've stayed there overnight. If you go to the ferry, just before you get to the last roundabout off the bypass, if you turn right and look for the Strawberry Gardens pub, or look it up Strawberry Gardens pub, there's a road there called Noley's Road. And you'll be able to park any size motorhome you like on that road, overlooking Morecambe Bay, for free, for as long as you like. Park up there and have a walk around Heesham Village. It's a beautiful little village, and I'm going to leave you some photographs of Heesham Village, and uh, St Patrick's Church, a thousand year old church, the old stone coffins that... Uh, Ozzy Osbourne uses a cover on one of his LPs and the actual little bays that they've got that you can you know you, you can go there's a beach there you, you'll be on your own uh, it's a beautiful place uh, and you'll enjoy it and if you've got a dog it, it's a fabulous place to, to go running about and uh, anyway and there's a good pub there as well the Royal in the village and uh, they have bands on in the summer and all kinds outdoors it's a great place anyway I'll leave you with that and uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this day because it's absolutely fabulous and uh, I will get used to talking on the camera in front of other people, just not today. I'm Simon, see you again.